You're watching the Venom vlog. Hey, when are you gonna make a Spidey vlog? Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to an episode of Spitting Venom, aka The Venom Vlog. I'm outside Golden Apple Comics right now, and I just picked up the Color Your Own Venom coloring book. And so we're going to take a look at this. It'll be a fun, quick episode. We're going to flip through the pages, check out some of the artwork inside, see which images they went with. Uh, we're not going to color anything today, but maybe we will in upcoming videos. I don't know. We'll have some fun with it. Maybe I'll color some and hang them on the wall behind me in future episodes when I move into my new apartment. Um, so we have that, but before we get into it, I want to give out a digital code for Venom First Host number two. So I haven't done my review on this yet. We're going to do that later. Um, I'll probably record it later today. I want to read the book, but I got both covers. So in this episode, I wanted to give out the code for one of them. So there you go boom check it out go to that website put in that code and you can check out this comic for yourself that way you can one of you at least can read it before we do our review on it so that way we know i won't spoil anything in the review for you and thanks for those of you who did watch the first episode if you haven't please go back and check that out i thought it was a great comic i'm very excited to read issue number two so enjoy that code out there whoever gets it and we will give out the other copy because i have the other cover here we'll give out this digital code when we do the review of uh issue two of first host so for now let's cut back to my apartment we'll dive into the coloring book and check out what images they put inside. So let's take a look at this, the Color Your Own Venom coloring book. And it was cool because when I was at Golden Apple, and I'm going to show footage of walking around there today because, you know, I shot some and I was like, oh, I want to put it in one of the videos. So I figured we'll do it in this one because otherwise it's going to be me just flipping through the pages of a coloring book. Um, but when I saw this, when I came across this on the shelf, it was pretty neat because it was right next to the Spider-Man vs. Venom Omnibus, which has the same image, in, uh, same image on it uh, by Mc, uh, Todd McFarlane here. But only, you know, this one obviously is not colored. Uh, and then also this one says Color Your Own Venom on it. So I can tell the difference obviously immediately plus the other one the omnibus is thicker uh, but when I saw this I was like oh my goodness like I forgot this came out this week and I've been wanting to get one of these and so uh, I was gonna pre-order on Amazon because I thought it wasn't coming out till closer to the movie and I know the movie's like less than 30 days away now but I still was like oh you know am I gonna get it in time and you know I'm waiting for my next paycheck or whatever but then when I just saw it there I was like man 10 bucks like forget it let's just do it um, so you yeah, know this is awesome so I'm glad I got it I don't know what I'll do with it I, I'm I'm sure I might color a page or two, but I really don't. I know there's a like a thing, you know, a lot of adults now too kind of go through this phase where it's just like a great mind exercise where they're just coloring and it's like kind of stress, you know, stress-free uh, kind of task to do and it kind of decompresses you from the day. Um, I've heard this like from a lot of adults, they say they'll do this and I'm like, wow, that's interesting. I never would have thought of it. Um, but uh, obviously there's a market for this stuff because Marvel started, you know, they've been releasing, you know, color your own books for a while now. And, uh, and I think DC has done some great ones too. And so for this one, I was like, well, all right, I'll pick it up because if nothing else, there's going to be some great black and white images inside of it. And, uh, and maybe I can just take those out and frame them and just have some cool black and white images on the wall of Venom. And that's probably what I'm going to do for this. I'm using this as essentially a little poster book. Um, and then on the back here, you have this great image from Mark Bagley from the Lethal Protector run. Nothing's ever truly black and white with Venom. Yeah, but I'm going to keep it black and white uh, because I love black and white. Those are my, most of my favorite movies are in black and white. The Day the Earth Stood Still, the first one from 1951, all-time favorite movie for me. Uh, and that's in black and white. The Crow in uh, 1994 uh, or 96, uh, that was supposed to be in black and white and they changed it, but then the director shot through like a bunch of different filters to bleed out as much color as possible to make the film look as, you know, as, as close to black and white as he can get it even though there was color in the film. So I love stuff like that. I, I love, I'm a big sucker for black and white movies. So going through this, and like I said, when I was at Golden Apple, I was flipping through, they, I'm gonna put images up. There was a lot of great Venom stuff that came out this week and just stuff they had in general. They had a lot of the trade paperbacks. I think the Along Came a Spider trade paperback just came out and there's uh, the Planet of the Symbiotes trade is coming out soon. Dark Origin was just re-released uh, as well, like in the past couple weeks. So we're getting into that final stretch. As the movie's coming out, they're reprinting all those missing 90 stuff that we have not covered on this show yet and so i promise once all those books are out and they're available to you guys for you can you know so you can buy them as well we will do like two or three weeks of eddie brock content where we review and talk about and discuss all of those storylines so i'm very excited i can't wait to do that with you guys uh, but for here we have color your own 
And uh, we start off, we have bagley stuff right inside, which is so great. It's like, if you're going to start right, you know, do it. You got McFarlane and then bagley instantly. So good. Uh, then again, you have the image by McFarlane. I'm not going to go through every page here. We'll just pick some random ones. This is Iban Coella. This is from the Venomized, no, Venomverse. I think book, yeah, Venom verse number one. It's uh, Venom versus uh, Jack O' Lantern there, uh, which is really neat. That's a cool image. Uh, then we have this one here. I think this is Sandoval from his Venom run that he did with uh, Mike Costa. That's a pretty cool image, actually. Looks really great. Um, and some of these are just going to look great in black and white. Like, look at that. There's Agent Anti Venom, Flash Thompson from Venom Inc. Uh, that's a really great image. Uh, that's awesome. You got Eddie Brock down here being like, "What's happening?" Um, yeah, Agent Anti Venom. Ah, oh, rest in peace, dude. Oh man, I'm I'm so bummed he's already, like he's gone so so soon. Um, this image here, pretty classic. Uh, Mark Bagley as well. You got Venom versus Carnage and Spider-Man stuck in the middle. That's a really great image, very uh, iconic. Uh, then another Iban Coella one, and you have uh, this is Poison. We did a toy review on him recently. Uh, this is a Peter Parker from a different universe who gets possessed by a poison creature, and he's fighting Eddie Brock. I think that's the last page of Venomized number one, actually. Um, so let me try to find some other artists here other than uh, Iban. Uh, so this is from. I can't remember the artist. I'm oh God, I'm so ashamed. Oh, Art Adams. Oh my God, I can't believe I forgot Art Adams. I think this is a cover from either Colin Bunn's run or maybe even the Guardians of the Galaxy Bendis run, I'm thinking. Uh, that's what I think this is from. You have Venom versus Taskmaster, which is great. I think Taskmaster, they should make him a Venom villain. He would be fun to watch because he adapts to people's powers, but the symbiote is another living thing. So would he adapt to that? That'd be really interesting to see. So, uh, yeah, I think that might be from the Guardians of the Galaxy stuff. Well, I haven't read that yet, but so that's why I don't recognize it. I'm just like, uh, I don't know what that's from. Um, we have uh, this one here, Eric Larson, classic cover, kind of Shakespearean. You have uh, Venom holding up the skull of Spider-Man when he was stuck on that island uh, back in the like early pages of Amazing. I think it was 315, 316, like around that era. Um, and then there's just some cool ones that are just like, uh, oh, there's a Ron Lim one from Lethal Protector which looks great. Some of them even have the lettering still in them, which is cool. Uh, this says Venom real big in the top there. Uh, oh, this one. Uh, this is Paco Medina, I believe. And this is from the run that I like that no, most people don't like, which is the Daniel Way Venom uh, run from uh, Marvel Tsunami. We talked about it on the show. And this run in particular with Wolverine vs. Venom was really great. And that new Venom in Vietnam story, that kind of reminded me of this a little bit. I was like, oh, it's a Venom, Nick Fury, uh, Wolverine story. That's, you know, Venom and uh, or Nick Fury and Wolverine kind of show up in that run too. So that was pretty fun. Then you get some actual comic pages where it's like Spider-Man getting the black costume. Uh, like a recreation of it by Mark Bagley. That's just fantastic stuff. So yeah, as you can see, there's just a really, just a lot of cool stuff in here. Um, this one you guys will probably like. I think it's Sandoval, but it has a uh, Venom and Ant an Agent Venom in it, uh, which just looks awesome. He's got his guns up there too. Uh, just so cool. It's nice to have these images. Uh, something from Maximum Carnage there. That's a cover for Maximum Carnage. I think part eight or nine, I can't remember. Um, and then you even have some recent stuff like Ryan Stegman, uh, which is, look at that. That's beautiful. And in black and white, no less. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm just a sucker for this. So uh, again, oh, and then even my favorite, I got to end on this one. Um, well, we get, hold on real quick. We got Scream there. So I have to show Scream. But then we got this one, one of my favorite pages in Venom Comics, which is, uh, is uh, I think this is Angel Medina, right? Uh, he was the one who did the Dark Origin story. And this is the first time Venom smiles. So he's, you know, when he gets the suit, it covers his mouth in this Dark Origin story like it did Peter Parker. But then he doesn't like that, you know? So he starts, you know, running his finger across his mouth and then a mouth starts to form and then boom, we get that. And then it actually concludes a few pages later with that image, which is just fantastic, which I have a poster of this on my wall already. Um, but yeah, I just, this is a great trip down memory lane and I'm just going to keep it as is. They're just going to be mini black and white posters to me. But if you are out there and you just want some cool images of Venom, or if you color yourself or you're practicing, you want to be a comic book colorist, or you're just looking for something to do as a hobby or, you know, to stress at the end of a long day or week, then, uh, you know, pick this up. It's only 10 bucks. You can find it at your local comic store, uh, which I highly recommend you support, uh, or you can pick it up at Barnes and Noble, or you can pick it up on Amazon if you want. But if you get a chance, definitely swing by a comic store, pick this up if they ordered it, call them first. Cause you know, they, not every co uh, comic store orders these, but you know, call them first, make sure they did and go pick it up there. So let me know what your thoughts are on this. I, I think it's going to be fun. I'll figure out when I move into the new place, which images I'll pick. If you guys have any votes, let me know down below the stuff you saw. If you want to see something in my background, let me know. And maybe I'll pick one or two of those and uh, put them up in the new background when we get the new apartment. So again, thank you guys as always for watching my show, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I'll see you in the future. Peace.